Hello everybody, this is PG, and today we're going to be using a brand new weapon to our character, the Giant Stone Axe. You can read the item description, you can pause the video, I give it a little bit of time here so you guys can read it without having to pause, but if you're like me and you read slow as shit, you probably didn't have enough time. Uh, as you can see, we're offhanding a Kessis as well, and uh, let's go invade some people with our new weapon, see how that goes, and um... I actually did a video with this weapon for a reason. Um, recently, I uh, had a friend of mine, uh, he was talking to me about um, trades, how he doesn't believe in trading in the game. Like, you know, you, you get whatever weapons and items you can get, and that's it. And uh, I felt really inclined to agree with him at first. I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're fucking right. Um, whatever you want to get in the game, if you can't acquire it, you don't deserve to use it. You know, I was agreeing with him for the most part. And then it kind of sunk in the whole fact that some people don't have the time to farm for Titanite. And uh, in this game, you can't drop Twinkling Titanite or Petrified uh, Dragon Bone or... Um, there's like all kinds of shit you can't drop. Uh, so I thought about it and I kind of started to change my own mind. I was like, yeah, um, some builds don't need Twinkling Titanite at all. Other builds, their armor, their weapon, their shield, all of it relies on Twinkling Titanite. And you just don't get that much Twinkling Titanite in this game. Uh, there's some lucky drops you can get. But hard items, hard fucking items that you just get. You do not get enough Twinkling Titanite. And in Dark Souls 1, they corrected this by letting you fucking buy it from a blacksmith. It was overpriced, but who the fuck cares? You have endless souls anyway, for the most part. Um, so, I kind of changed my own mind. I was like, you know what? I, I think you should be able to trade people. And so, I had a weapon, um, fuck, what was it? It was one of the, it was one of the, uh, the rare drops for magic users. I don't fucking remember what it was, um, but I, I had one of them, and, um, a random dude on Xbox was like, hey, good fight, do you want to trade? He asked for it, I had it, and, uh, I told him to just make me a strength weapon, and, uh, we talked about which one, and, um... I decided on this one. Um, honestly, uh, I always use the last giant soul. Uh, he's such an easy opponent, and when you're that low a level that early in the game, it just kind of makes sense to say fuck it and burn his soul. So, uh, my newfound friend on Xbox was smart, and uh, he did not burn those souls. Uh, he actually kept the last giant soul, or maybe he did a bonfire aesthetic, I don't know. But um, I leveled up his um, his little magic weapon, whatever the fuck it was, because I had some spare Titanite. And uh, he actually leveled up the weapon I'm using right now, because he doesn't use boss weapons. So it worked out perfectly, and uh, I have a great weapon to show for it. And um, this is just kind of my video to talk about, uh, you know, how do you guys feel about trading? Um, do you think there should be changes in the game to prevent trading? Do you think, uh, instead of preventing trading, there should be more of a, uh, an open style market so that you can purchase things instead of having to trade people? Um, obviously the fact that you can drop things for people means that the game designers intended for you to be able to trade with people. Uh, but at the same time... It does kind of suck. Like, I shouldn't have to rely on other people to trade. Uh, not that it's a horrifying thing or, you know, to be antisocial. It's just, it would be really nice if I could just kind of buy what I need instead of having to rely on someone I don't know who might not even drop me the weapon. Or, you know what I mean? Um, that's always a shocking, scary thought to have is that you could drop something that you worked hard to get and the guy could drop you rubbish and now you're stuck with that so here we have a heavy hex user 
who is desperately trying to poison me. Um, I don't know. Maybe these, uh, I, I'm wearing the fucking starter set, by the way. Uh, the imported set. And, um, I think it has pretty decent poison resistance. Like, I've been fucking off in these goddamn poison clouds just for maybe a couple seconds at a time, and I'm not poisoned at all. Uh, I don't know what this guy's deal is. He was really desperate. He's a pure caster, so a part of me wants to respect it. You know, that's a challenging thing to do. Another part of me is like, dude, you know your build isn't really viable. Your build is more of a, hey, I caught you off guard with my spell. Personally, I'm pretty decent at dodging spells, so I didn't find this all too challenging. As you can see, he hasn't really focused on his health because he can't. Uh, to cast all those spells, to have all those spells and everything like that. He doesn't have time to level up his health or his stamina, so chances are he's relatively easy to kill. As you can see, one two-handed swing did pretty much half his health. Now I just have to catch him off guard with either my Kessis or my weapon. Uh, anyway, that's just kind of the fight I'm in right now. Uh, I do want to talk about the, uh, the concept of trading. I really don't like the concept. Uh, I'm not saying it should be, you know, deconstructed and that you shouldn't be able to give anybody anything. Uh, I just like the idea of being able to get it myself. Uh, in Dark Souls 1, they make you go all the way to An Orlando, which is pretty much a solid halfway point in the game. And uh, that's when you can buy Twinkling Titanite which, up until that point, is very rare. So, in Dark Souls 2, it kind of seems shitty that you can't just fucking buy it. Um, I would love to just be able to fucking buy Twinkling Titanite, because then I'd have something to spend my fucking souls on. Um, as you guys saw in one of my past videos, I have just under 10 million souls with one of my other builds and uh that build is my pyromancer balance build yeah it's my balance build it's also a pyromancer um good knockout punch right there uh me and um the looking glass knight fucked that guy up um gg to that dude he was actually pretty cool uh so yeah this whole trading thing, it, it bugs me on some levels, and on other levels I think it's cool and it's fun. Um, like I was saying with farming in my last videos, uh, some people just don't have time to farm. Um, I've been in that situation. Uh, some people are just unlucky. Um, when I did my video on the Katarina set, uh, and how to farm the Katarina set, I've had like oh god who was it i think it was kyle kyle told me he got the um he got a two item drop the first time he killed the katarina dude and uh i wasted what like nine bonfire aesthetics in that video and only got one fucking item and it was the chest piece i think so you know taking that into account like it, it's not fun <laughs> Uh, sometimes it's nicer to just have a good friend that's willing to, to hook it up and give you a little bit of a drop. Speaking of drops, that guy just fell to his death. That's kind of rare. I haven't seen anybody fall to their death in PvP in quite a while. Um, so, uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Um, I love the concept behind it that uh, someone can drop you something helpful someone can actually help you, which is very nice in a game that is so uh, hell-bent on being cruel to the people that are dedicated to playing it. Uh, but beyond those rare drops and things like that, I really do think you should be able to purchase things in the game. And uh, I'm not saying, you know, hey, everything should be free, cheap, and easy. No, fuck that. That's not what Dark Souls is all about. It's all about a challenge and everything like that. But when it comes to Titanite and upgrade materials, it'd be nice to be able to buy some things. Uh, anyway, the 
build right here is uh, is actually doing really good. I thought I was going to have a lot of issues with this weapon because it's so damn big. But um, it turns out not a lot of people have seen this build, so they don't know what to expect. Uh, that jump move definitely catches people off guard a lot. Or uh, the rolling move, I mean. Um, I've pretty much included all of these fights in their entirety. Um, one, because it was actually a little difficult to find people to invade this time around. Which was actually kind of sad. Uh, I don't know, maybe it was just my time of day and uh, people just weren't on at that time. I think this was like, like a Saturday night, maybe? I really don't remember. Um, yeah, so maybe it was just the time of... Uh, time of night I was playing, but uh, it was actually really hard to find people to invade, and uh, so I decided I would include these clips in their entirety, uh, just not to shortchange any of these fights. So this guy switches out to Dragon Tooth, which I think he can only two-hand, because I don't really think he one-handed and uh, attacks me very much. As you can see, he is sticking with the one club move. Um, he's hoping to catch it and flatten me. And I'm assuming that if he does catch me and flatten me, that he will run and heal. Um, like I said, I'm an invader right now. Uh, they did not summon me. This is not a duel. So honestly, he has every right to heal. Um, more power to him if he decides not to heal. But I'm assuming he's going to fucking heal. So we got to keep uh, kind of close to him. Make sure he... Oh, there you go. He decided he wanted to heal. And he died. Most people die while healing, to be honest, when it comes down to, like, an invasion. Um, most people do die while healing. Uh, right here, looks like we are in uh, the king's little castle. And it looks like we have a coward. Oh, yes, we do. Look at him run. He is taking the fuck off. Well, as you can see, the knights are handling him pretty well. And he has just a smidge of health left to go fight the uh, Velstad. And um, honestly, eh, go ahead, be a coward, I don't fucking care. Um, I'm not going to open the shortcut. I'm not going to be nice. Why would I do that? I'm an invader. I'm supposed to be big and mean. So here we go, into chaos. Uh, we got a... Sun bro doing his thing, being helpful. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that bell gets rung so that it gets nice and crazy in here. And I'm just gonna follow one of these guys around so that I have a general idea of who I need to attack. Oh, looks like we got caught by the host. Summon runs out to play. And it gets crazy. Jump in, little jump attack. And now the host is actually doing a decent job of uh, fending off three fronts with his summon hiding behind him like a coward but uh, the host really just couldn't fight that many people at once and here we are back in another world uh, I've had a lot of people request um, more invasions and less summoning and uh, as much as I do love doing that uh, like I said earlier, it's getting a little bit more difficult to uh, find people. Uh, less people are running through the game. More people are doing their own thing. PvPing it up. Having fun. So it's, it's not exactly easy to just find someone at random and just run through the game with them. Um... I've had a couple people actually tell me that they need sunlight medals because nobody summons them. And, uh, of course, if you're a sun bro and you're ganking, you're not going to get sun medals anyway, so you can eat shit. I hate people that gank. Especially if you're a sun bro. Like, something seems wildly not okay about that. Um, I get the whole jolly cooperation... I get that. And if I'm an invader, no, you're not ganking. You're playing the game. And uh, you just happen to have a friend there. Oh, this guy's getting fucked up. Uh, but, you know, if 
you're on Dragon Bridge or wherever the fuck you are, and you're enjoying the game, doing your own thing, whatever the case might be. No, not really ganking if you and a friend are in the same area, just playing the game. But if you're summoning red phantoms and ganking them, you're fucking garbage. Like, that was a really nice parry, by the way. Um, that was a Kessa's parry. That's kind of hard, for me at least. Uh, so yeah, um, ganking is just such a shit thing to do to people. Um, I don't really think I've ever ganked anyone that I'm aware of. Um, alright guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.